Hello, this is Marcus Davis in Tegrella, and welcome to the screencast on Tecoya MS. As you may well know, messaging is really at the heart of any integration solution, and in future we're going to go into some of the more advanced topics of EMS, such as transactionality and deployment. But in this video, we're really going to focus on the basics of how to send and receive JMS messages in Tibco Designer. So let's get started. Here we are in Tibco Designer. We're going to create a couple of process definitions. One is going to send a JMS message, and the other one is going to receive that message. But before I do that, I'm just going to create a couple of shared resources. One is a JMS connection resource, and the other one is um, uh, a bunch of application properties. And I'm going to use those application properties just to show you how to use custom attributes on uh, JMS headers. As I'm connecting to a local EMS server, I'm going to call this JMS Local. And I'm just going to use the default settings. So as you can see, that connection was successful. And here are the application properties. So you might want to use these, for example, to do some message routing. In this case, we're going to create an integral message type property. I'm going to set the data type to string. And now I'm going to create the JMS send process definition. I'm going to call it JMS send. And on the canvas here, I'm going to add a couple of activities. One is going to read uh, a, a message payload from the file system, and the other one is going to send that payload over to a JMS queue. So the first one is a JMS queue sender activity, and I'm also going to use a read file activity. So let's add the transition lines in between those now. I'm going to use some test data that I configured earlier. I just need to set the, the path and the file name. In this case it's a, a bond trade XML message. So on the JMS queue sender activity we just first of all need to set the JMS connection which we configured earlier. And the, J the destination queue, I'm going to set to queue system A. I'm going to use a, a persistent message here. And also configure the application properties we set up earlier. I just want to map the payload from the read file activity. Into the JMS body. And also set the custom message type property that we configured earlier. In this case it is a bond trade message type. So now that's done, I'm going to create a, a JMS receive process definition. I'm going to 
add onto the canvas a, a JMS Q receiver and also a log, a light to log activity. You'll see that the uh, the start activity has changed, and that's because the JMS Q receiver is actually a listener process in TIPCO. So on the Q receiver, we need to set again the JMS connection. And the destination Q, I'm going to use the same one again. Q system A. I'm not going to use any transaction functionality here, but I will cover that in a, a later tutorial. We also need to set the application properties on the advanced tab. And on the right to log activity, I'm going to output some debug that's going to go to the console. So first of all I'm going to use a, a string concat function. I'm going to write out the, uh, the payload along with some debug. I'm also going to write out the custom JMS property that we've configured. So I'm going to apply and validate this. It validates OK. And now we're actually ready to test this uh, process. So first of all, I'm going to only run the send process on its own. see that's run successfully and I'm just going to go into the EMS admin tool and connect using the uh, default settings and if I do show queues you should see that there's one message on the queue sys system A queue and no receivers at the moment so now I stop that job I'm going to run the JMS receive process and this time it's received the message and output something to the console and finished. So we should see here, hopefully, um, that the message has been consumed, which it has and there's also a receiver still active. And now, finally, if I look at the console window, I should see that the bond trade was received and also that the integral message type property was set to bond trade as expected. So thanks very much for listening. And if you do have any feedback, please do get in touch through our portal at portal.integrella.com.